Okay, so it, it's, it's a billion dollar industry. There's basically 300 million people view and play uh, eSports. It's across the world. I mean, it's pretty basic. A lot of traditional media is asking right now, where is our audience? Where are the people who are trying to buy the products? Because again, traditional media has made the shift. Netflix, Hulu, no commercials. Uh, video on demand, no commercials. Live streaming, eSports perfectly fine with advertising. So some of the things I quoted on stage previously, over 60% of the audience is okay with ads, expects ads, responds well to them, and actually leads to purchases. Yeah, the demographic is uh, kind of 16 to 34 year olds, 60% of the viewers and players are th at that age. And these are the demographic that aren't watching TV anymore. They're literally gaming. So how else can a marketeer get to these people? It's kind of working with brand, uh, platforms like Twitch. Absolutely. So if you want to reach millennials in the young audience, if you're not thinking about live streaming and esports, you're not going to get them. I think at the moment there's some big brands that have done some stuff like Coke and Pepsi and Intel, but they haven't really engaged yet. There are a lot of traditional brands that work in sport that haven't come on. So we were just talking earlier about the fact that how uh, integrated one can get and also you want to be relevant. You know, eSports is relevant to such a massive generation that there's a great opportunity for brands, mainly FMCG, not luxury at all, but it may be brands coming in, which I think they're missing that opportunity at the moment. And I think it's important, consistent feedback. So as marketers are thinking about how do I learn more about my product, they're thinking about product studies with people hand-selected that have available time to come in and do this, as opposed to live streaming and esports, where you can interact through chat, through the experiences, to learn more about your audience and interact with them for longer periods of time. Again, that 100 minutes to 300 minutes of constant engagement is a great way to interact with your audience and reinforce your messaging. So yeah, so get, the gaming industry is quite wide. We, we concentrate on eSports, I concentrate on eSports. You know, one thing that we've introduced, I had a concern about becoming too much like poker, everything's about money, money, money. So we've introduced, like in traditional sport, you have the Ryder Cup in golf, the Davis Cup in tennis and the Olympics, we've introduced events that are for national pride, you know, where you represent your country. And certain brands and marketers like the fact that it's for, for that as opposed to mass prize money. So I, for my personal thing, what I'm trying to push is that. And also traditional sports is embracing esports. So we're doing an event in Australia during the Tennis Open where they're embracing esports and they want to promote it as part of your balanced life. I think one of the biggest changes is this is the norm. There is no escaping gaming anymore. This is just flat out what people do. Casual, involved, all the way up to professional. And the fact that communities are so strong around gaming means that from the business perspective, you need to be involved and locked into these places. But from the enjoyment perspective, families are playing games. That living room opportunity, that, that interaction where friends used to sit around, challenge each other, that is now grown into the familial unit as more parents want to interact with their children, as more people want to see the media, and as the content itself is getting more engaging and more interesting with HD graphics, VR, strategy games, fighting games, all of the opportunity for people to interact in different ways that they can enjoy. Yeah, there's some fantastic intrinsic rewards when you play it. You feel good about yourself. There's pride, there's recognition, and I think there's autonomy as well. And exactly what Ray said, I actually play at home in front of the screen with my wife and my two children. We're playing games together, you know, on screen. 